Um, you've seen Arkansas's pressure already once this season. I know they're a little bit of a different team without Gafford, but at least for you, the backcourt guys, just what do you have to prepare for? And are there maybe some points of comparison with Illinois? Obviously, you, you played them late in the season. Uh, yes, there is. I feel like we've had, we've played the pressure already between them and Illinois, so I feel like we just got to execute our game plan, not turn the ball over, and just run good offense, and I feel like we'll be fine. Zach, what did you guys learn from that first game? I mean, obviously it's a little different. They're without Gafford this time, you know. So, but what, what did you guys learn from the first game uh, that maybe can apply to tomorrow? Uh, we know they play fast. Uh, they're going to play hard. Uh, they're going to try to turn you over. So that's something we got to be uh, prepared for offensively, defensively. Um, being able to get our transi transition defense under control and then also uh, not give anything easy through turnovers. Uh, you were working with, you know, sometimes it was, you know, three guards the other night. Mm -hmm. uh, you're out there with Rob and, and Devontae. How did that work, and how, how did that feel out there in terms of cohesion? Uh, you know, I got two great guards with me, so I feel like it was just like we were in rhythm, we were in sync, and I feel like it just wasn't nothing but, like, practice, I feel like. For either of you guys, um, Joe and Jones in particular, they both had a lot of threes this year. They're also big guards. Just what kind of challenges does it present in terms of maybe trying to run them off the three-point line but also deal with their size? Uh, yeah, that's something we've been focused on in practice the past couple of days, uh, knowing, knowing they got a lot of good three-point shooters, uh, knowing it's going to be like a five-out five out motion. Uh, it's going to be tough to guard, but we've been working on it, uh, running guys off the line, being able to move our feet, stay in front. So something we got to work on, something we got to be able to do. I guess these last few days, just having already played the game, maybe settling into this tournament a little bit deeper, is the focus improved mm -hmm. a bit? Or got more guys just locked in and, and just ready to ready to play these games now? Um, yeah, I think focus has been good throughout practice, but um, especially now we got under our belt, one under our belt. I think we know what it's going to take, um, know how hard we're going to have to play from the jump, and I think guys are ready to go. Uh, Alan, you had your career high the other night. Just, just mm -hmm. in terms of your progress over the course of the season, how, how do you think – You've gotten better. Where have you looked to get better over the course of the season? Uh, I'm just trying to get better every day in practice and by myself in the gym. So I feel like it's just been a steady grind over time, and it just showed last night when I had my career high.